Life looked pretty good for Gretchen Wilson in 2004. A huge hit, some pretty cool friends, a GTFO attitude, and an album that would get her a Grammy nomination. Of course, there was also the crushing insecurity, infighting with her record production team, and the fact that she was B-R-O-K -okay broke. I declare bankruptcy! I'm Anya Hammer, and Redneck Woman was inspired by a super famous pop country singer. Don't spoil it, just thumbs up this video if you know who I'm talking about, and then stick around for a minute for how Miss Thang did our girl from Pocahontas, Illinois solid. The song was a six week number one hit in spring 2004, and she started collecting new artist awards, and then a Grammy, and eventually a CMA for top female vocalist. So we asked, how'd that feel? Everybody just seemed classier than me, you know, I felt like, you ever walked into some place where you're supposed oh, yeah. to have on a suit and tie, and, 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 you're, and you're like, ooh. I don't yeah. fit in here. Well, yeah. that's kind of how I felt, I think, for the first little while. It took, me a, it took me a while to adjust to the industry. Raise a hand if you've ever felt that. But the album was great, right? The Here for the Party album is one of TOC's top 100 of the 21st century. And man, that must have been great to make, right? When I made that album, I was very, uh, very frustrated with a couple of the songs that went on there. Um, I felt like I had to bargain and, um, and, and cut a couple of songs that I didn't want to cut in order to get a couple of mine on there. And so it was a real kind of a struggle and a bargaining thing. It was a classic too many cooks in the kitchen kind of thing, and I know you're curious. Pocahontas Proud is the song she fought tooth and nail for. What happened was the one she didn't want to include. But now she says she hears that song and is grateful her team forced it. A few years later, I look back at the record and I can't get enough of those two songs that I didn't want to cut, you know? And I can see now the, the expertise that was coming from a set of older ears in the room. In her 2007 book, Redneck Woman, Stories From My Life, Wilson shares that as Redneck Woman was becoming a hit, she was still dirt poor. In fact, I was more broke, I think, than I'd ever been in my life, is the quote. Remember, Wilson quit school at 14 to 10 bar at a place called Big O's and moved to Nashville in 1996 with just $500, so she was truly B-R-O-K-E. She did get a small signing bonus from her label and a cash advance from her management company to feed herself and her daughter, but she wasn't even making enough money to buy the half-price lingerie she sings about. She was certainly no Faith Hill, which is an awkward way to get around to telling you who inspired the song in the first place. It was Faith Freakin' Hill. I can feel the magic floating in the air. Yep, in 2018, Wilson told Taste of Country how she and co-writer John Rich were watching this music video with Faith rolling around in satin sheets. And Gretchen said, this ain't gonna happen because I am not that kind of woman. John asked, what kind of woman are you? And Gretchen said, Man. 